kind of, and then I have a headache because I send up my camera to film the video and then Bailey decided to make the, the mess for me and then I went into a meltdown. <laughs> For that pregnancy, I have been really, really lucky not to get the effects of like feeling nauseous and getting sick. There was a couple of times I may get like a little bit of motion sickness, but I never got really, really sick. One of the hardest things I've been dealing with with that pregnancy is being very, very emotional. A lot of meltdown. <laughs> um, I'm usually really good at like holding back emotions, but from that whole pregnancy, like this mom thing could trigger a meltdown for me. I know if you any want acting if I were gonna do videos of us telling our family that we are pregnant. So we did surprise them but we didn't film any other surprises because I wanted to keep it a surprise if I grab my camera and stand it up they might get a hint that oh this is something really big. Before we announce the pregnancy to YouTube and my other social media we saw it meant very important to announce it to family first. So a few wonderful people that found out was my parents and David's parents. You all know I love to get creative, so I had to have a lot of fun putting things together to surprise them. For my parents, my mom and dad, I put together that whole little book and gave it to my mom. I was going to send her it for her birthday, but I really wanted to tell her the good news in person. So during one of the visits, when we got to visit in person. My parents live out in Florida. I'm in Colorado. I went my parents my closer as personally since now I'm having a baby. And that was my mom actually calling. Okay, so I put together the little book for her and gave it to her.
read that book, I can like hear my heart begin to like beat super fast. And when she got to the last page with tell her the news, I like began crying. I wasn't expecting to get that emotional. My mom might like, look at me and then like why am you crying? And then she went and you had the lap pinch again. Then she realized I'm pregnant. I think giving my mom the burger kind of finally hit me that I was going to become a mommy. Becoming a mommy was always one of my greatest wishes. Growing up since I was little, I always been like not talking to those younger than me and I have always loved babies that had a huge dream of becoming a mommy one day. But the older I got, the more that dream seemed unrealistic. Throughout most of my life, I've been judged by my disability. When I end on adulthood, the fear of not becoming a mommy one day became worse. And it wasn't because I didn't see I could raise or take care of a child on because of my disability. It was because of how many other adults viewed my disability. I mean, that's so scared that with so many adults judging me, I will miss out on all the life experience throughout my adulthood. Then being an adult who didn't think I could have my own children at all because of my disability or that I didn't want kids because I'm disabled. Or even adults assumed that I can pass the long pausing onto my future children and that is impossible because my cellular palsy will come by a brain injury. I will wear an autism for seven whole minutes. I cannot pass my brain injury onto my child. A few years ago, I suddenly became very, very depressed. I will want seeing people my age get married and begin their own family and I was very fearful none of that would happen for me. My friends when and they were pregnant and I will be super happy and excited for them. Then later that day, I may have a weird, depressing episode thinking that will never happen to me. But it is happening. Me and David are about to become parents and that really is a dream come true for the both of us. We are not the names to David parents. We went out and found that little cute baby onesie and I made that sign to pin on it and wrapped it about cute and had them open it.
family, so I'm really, really excited about our pregnancy and really excited about us bringing a new little one into the family. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.